In the wake of the attacks on the U.S., the self-styled East Turkestan forces stepped up their collaboration as terrorism and extremism spread. There has been a surge of terrorist attacks all across the world. And Xinjiang has been a target with many terrorist training centers hidden in the region. And it's also the frontier of China's fight against extremism and terrorism. April 30th, 2014, at the Ruji South Railway Station. A knife attack and a suicide bombing. Three people died and 79 were wounded. I'm uh, witness to the fact that a number of uh, Muslims from China, the province of Xinjiang, the Uyghurs, they also ended up in those uh, training camps and they were trained as jihadists. So when the war ended in uh, 1989, some of them went back, but uh, uh, most of them were not uh, de-indoctrinated and they were used uh, as tools. The roots go back to the end of the 19th century. Pan-Turkism and Pan-Islamism thoughts were introduced into Xinjiang. Separatist forces politicized this term to create an independent state, the so-called East Turkestan, to split it from China. Since its establishment, the ETIM has maintained close ties with international terrorist organizations like Al-Qaeda. Chaos was rampant in China's westernmost region. Violent attacks were targeting civilians of all ethnic groups. Explosions were frequent in almost all parts of the Uyghur Autonomous Region. Xinjiang became a battlefield in China's fight against terrorism. 